Congressman Chuck Edwards, thank you for joining us. Hey, Congressman, the House is back in session. What's at the top of your agenda that it could actually impact folks right here in Western North Carolina? Well, thanks for having me this morning, Charles. I think the thing that is most on the agenda right now that would impact folks back in Western North Carolina is uh, us getting a budget passed in the next 18 days, preventing the government sh from shutting down, and uh, keeping our national parks and Blue Ridge Parkway open. We, uh, in Western North Carolina, we have about $30 billion of economic impact every year from our national forests, parks, and Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, thousands of businesses count on the government to stay open uh, to keep them in business. And so job one for Western North Carolina is to keep the government open, not to mention the fact that uh, our military needs to continue to be paid and funded. Well, it's a lot to do in a short period of time. Are you convinced you can get it done? Oh, of, of course. It, it looks a little ugly right now. It looks a little messy, but uh, that's the way policy is developed. It should take a while. It should take serious consideration, thought, and, and debate. And uh, I'm confident that we'll get it done. I'm hopeful we'll get it done. All right, Tuesday's debate, former President Trump talked about increasing tariffs. An apple grower we spoke with was concerned it could mean higher prices here and make it harder for him to sell his apples abroad. What do you say to him? Most of the folks uh, back at home don't realize that President Trump's tariff policies are put in place for a reason, uh, but there's also an exchange there. Uh, for example, President Trump, with the previous tariffs he put in place, uh, asked for commitment from China and other countries to raise their level of production of agricultural products. And so there's very much an offset there. And uh, most of the folks back at home trust President Trump uh, to, to get behind this tariff program and help make a difference to improve their business and make us more competitive in Western North Carolina. Well, North Carolina is a pivotal stake and a whole lot's at stake. How important is your vote if you're a North Carolinian? Uh, every, every vote matters. Every, every vote counts. I encourage everyone to uh, make sure that you're registered right now and uh, plan to get out to the polls early. Uh, early voting starts on October the 17th. Let's not wait till November 5th this year. All right, you've got your own race, Congressman, against Caleb Rudow. Recreational marijuana just became available on the Koala boundary. Your opponent supports a path towards legalization in North Carolina. Where are you on this issue? Well, I'm clearly opposed to recreational marijuana in Western North Carolina. When we look at the uh, suicide rates of young people today, uh, the mental health issues, drug, alcohol abuse, and consider the fact that uh, it's, pr it's been proven over and over again that uh, marijuana use is a pathway to other drugs, not to mention the adverse mental health effects that it has on our young people today. We simply do not need recreational marijuana in Western North Carolina. Well, and abortion, our final issue here, former President Trump has argued it should be a state's issue and won't commit to signing a nationwide abortion ban if it lands on his desk. Where are you right now on this issue? I certainly support President Trump's opinion that this is a decision of the people in each state. That's what we fought for for 50 years, uh, is to keep uh, the federal government from overreaching and uh, putting the authority back in the states for things that are not specified in our Constitution that would belong to, to the federal government. I'm fully in support of the states being in charge. And uh, North Carolina, I believe, has made the right decision. They have, they have the right strike between public opinion and protecting the lives of the unborn. And the thing that I think that uh, folks are missing is that we need to, just like in North Carolina, support those young women today that are frightened and faced with making this type of decision. We need to make sure that there are resources available, that they understand they're, they're loved and, and supported as they're approaching these decisions. All right, Congressman Chuck Edwards, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. All right, thank you, Charles.